In the first part of this video, I'm going to show you how to sync your bookends libraries and attachments across all your macOS and iOS devices. In the second part, I'll show you how to share libraries and attachments with other people. For complete documentation and more detail, refer to the bookends user guide. Setting up personal syncing is straightforward. Open the library you want to share and click on the cloud icon in the lower left. Then click Upload This Library to Cloud. If you go back to the Cloud menu and click on Manage Cloud Libraries, you'll see that it is listed under Your Libraries. In this case, we can also see that I'm a participant in somebody else's library. More on that later. To access your library from another of your computers, one where you're logged in with the same Apple ID, go to File, New, Download from Cloud, and select the library you want to save. If you want to sync attachments as well, there are two additional steps. You can sync attachments using any file sharing service you want, such as Dropbox or Google Drive but I'll be demonstrating using iCloud Drive. If you want to sync with bookends for iOS, you must use iCloud Drive. First, go to Bookends Preferences and change the attachment folder to the folder you're using to sync. Second, move the attachments from wherever they're stored now to this sync folder. By default, Bookends keeps attachments in your Documents folder. Look for a folder called Bookends, open the Attachment folder within, and drag the files over to your File Sync folder. Remember that in this example I'm using iCloud Drive, so I drag the attachment files from their original location into the Bookends folder within iCloud Drive. Now you're done. To access the attachments on other Macs, just set that same File Sync folder as the default attachment folder for bookends. If you're using bookends for iOS, it'll automatically know to look in this folder for synced libraries. Sharing libraries with others isn't much more complicated than syncing it across your own devices, but there are a few additional steps. Note that sharing with others requires Big Sur or later on your Mac and iOS 15 or later on your iOS devices. A quick note on terminology. If you're sharing a library with others, you are the library's owner. If you have accepted an invitation to share somebody else's library, you're a participant. Now let's go back to that library I synced earlier. To share it, click on the cloud icon and select Share. Bookends will offer to set up a shared attachments folder. You can skip this step if you don't want to share attachments or if you want to come back later and do it. I'll accept the option to set it up now. Just like earlier, you can use any file sync service you'd like. I'm going to use iCloud Drive. The text at the top and bottom of this window presents you with some of the same information included in this tutorial. In the middle of the window, you specify the location of the folder that should contain the shared library's attachments and the name of that folder. I will set the enclosing folder to my File Sync Service folder, in this case, the Bookends iCloud folder, and accept the default name of the shared library folder, Research Project Attachments, and click Create and Populate. Bookends will now create a library-specific folder and move the appropriate attachments from their current location. If you're not ready to create the folder now, you can come back to the Cloud menu whenever you're ready and select Prepare Shared Attachment Folder. Once you set up a dedicated attachment folder, that menu option no longer shows up. OK, go back and try to share again. This time we get a list of ways to share. You can also set whether the people you're sharing with are allowed to edit the database or just to view it. In this case, I'm going to share via email. If I go back and select the Share menu now, I can see a list of people it's shared with. 
I can also add more people, remove people, change permissions, and stop sharing the library. One last step. I need to share the attachments folder. Assuming you're using iCloud Drive, go to the iCloud folder, open the bookends folder, and right click on the folder associated with the library you're sharing. By default, bookends will append the word attachments to the library's name. Select share, choose share folder, and pick a way to share. Again, I'm sharing this via email. Now you're done. In a moment, I'll show you what this looks like from the participant's perspective, but if you ever need a refresher on how all this works, you can always see the instructions by clicking here in the cloud menu. Okay, let's look at sharing from the participant's point of view. I just got an email inviting me to join this project. I click open and choose where to save the file. Bookends then asks me if I want to set up the shared attachments folder, but since I haven't received the invitation to that folder yet, I'll wait for a few minutes. The database automatically populates, and now I'm synced with the database's owner. In the meantime, I've gotten another email from my alter ego offering to share the attachments folder as well. If I accept, the new attachment folder will automatically appear in my iCloud drive. If you already have a bookends folder in your iCloud drive, we recommend moving the attachments folder in there. This will allow bookends on your iOS devices to see the attachments. Now I'm ready to tell bookends to look for the shared attachments. I go back to bookends and click on the cloud menu and choose set shared attachment folder. I click select folder and choose the folder that was just shared with me. Now the attachments are wired up properly and we're done.